The best email marketing tools are the ones that are actually smart. So if you're looking for an option that you can use for email marketing, automation, and as a CRM, Brevo, or formerly as it was known, Send in Blue, is a great option. Let me show you how it works. So this is Brevo. Let's start with a few of the basics. I'll put my name, but I don't have a website, and we'll hit continue here. And what we're gonna see here is the system designed exactly for us. So what we're gonna do here is enter just a few key details about our team to get started. And that should get us to the dashboard. How many people are on your team? Just me. How many contacts do you need to have? Now this is specifically for how many people you're gonna be sending your emails out to. So they charge you generally based on how many emails you're gonna be sending per month to how many contacts. So if you're just starting out, I'd recommend going with just one to 500. This is so that you can have the cheapest plan available to you because the best way to run your email marketing campaign is to start with obviously zero people in your email marketing campaign. And then as you scale up and more people start to follow you and you gain more traction, then you can spend more money on it. But for right now, we're just going to start it with one to 500. And it's going to also ask us, do we sell online? Now this is important because there are a few key details and laws that they have to take care of if we do say yes things are gonna be a little bit different, but for the most part in this case, we're just gonna say no, but you can change this option later. Now, once we get our phone number verified, it's gonna ask us to upgrade our marketing platform. As we can see here, these are the different plans available, starter, ideal for growing business, business, most popular. But in this case, we're gonna continue with the free plan. This gets us up to 300 emails per day, customizable templates, a drag and drop editor, et cetera, et cetera. And we also get SMS and WhatsApp campaigns, which is pretty good for people who are actually trying to do things in the text space, not just email. So we'll hit continue with the free plan here. And this is gonna bring us into the Brevo dashboard. Now, as it says, your clients have never been closer. No matter how you wanna reach your clients, we have the right marketing channel for you. What kind of campaign do you wanna create? So we're gonna start out by creating our very first campaign on Brevo. And I guess we should answer the question, what kind of campaign do we wanna create? Is it email, SMS, WhatsApp, web push, Facebook ads? In this case, we're just gonna go simple and say email. We'll click on this and we'll say, do we want it to be a regular or A and B test? Now, A and B testing, for those of you who aren't familiar, is just essentially sending two slightly different versions of the same email to see which one converts more, gets more people to click on it, open it, etc. In this case, we're just gonna say regular and we're gonna say Josh's email, Josh's email campaign and hit create campaign here. We can also do this by navigating over to the left-hand side here where it says campaigns and hitting that create button. So as we can see here, we're the sender, review our sender status. We can choose our recipients, the subject line for the email, and then finally designing our email content. So we can add our recipients, but in this case, we don't have any right off the bat. So let's go with the subject line. Subject line is what we're gonna see here and we'll say, okay, new email. And so this is what it's gonna actually look like when somebody receives our email for our campaign. We'll hit save here and we can actually use AI if we want to, but in this case, I just like my subject saying new email. Now we can get to the cool part, actually designing what our email is gonna look like. We can hit this button here that says start designing. And as we can see, there's already so many templates that are available to us. One of the reasons why I like Brevo so much is specifically because of the fact that, well, it's very beginner friendly. It's not a lot of complicated features that you have to sift through to figure out how to get your first campaign set up. It's really just, point and click, it's very easy to get started here. As we can see, we have things like our default template, sell a product, tell a story, register for an event, and we've got a bunch of different ones here. But in our case, we're just gonna simply start from scratch using the start from scratch template. Edit your styles in the design tab. We can also see what's new. And it's literally just drag and drop. We have titles here, we have text, and we can just drag and drop it underneath. So in this case, I'll say, this is my email. Header. We've got our options here, like what type of heading do we want to have it set as, what type of font, font size, all of those things you would typically expect to find in this sort of email designer. We also have the ability to use our AI assistant to adjust the text, text alignment, add background colors, adjust the layout, spacing, borders, everything else. There's also a new feature here called the brand library where you can essentially import your logos, colors, etc., so that you can easily set up campaigns that are relevant to your brand. Uh, in our case, we're just not gonna do that off the bat. We're gonna go down here to template and we can see here that there are specific template settings like the text appearance, having our fonts from our brand library. I can make it so that for all paragraphs, I want them to be Arial Black or for heading one, I want it to be Comic Sans, those sort of things. So I can adjust it really to fit exactly what sort of style I want for my emails and if I want to even save them to my brand. I can do the same with buttons here and spacing. And of course there's an AI tab where I can actually just write things in and say, generate a paragraph. And then it'll say right in a few be words below, let's say I'm making a an email marketing campaign about elephants. So we have an elephant, majestic elephant, etc., And we can literally just drag it and drop it 
and put it underneath there. Now, if you'll remember, the reason why this is set as this specific font is because in our style for this email marketing campaign, we set the text to periods for anything that is a paragraph to Arial Black. But if we set that back to Arial, we can see that it automatically sets it back to this. Now, if I wanna go in and add more things, I just go to content here and I have all these options available to me, things like payment links, HTML, header with logo, divider, etc. It's really customizable in how you can actually go and design the email campaign to fit your specific goals of your business. We also have things like sections, individual text and images that they've already got pre-set up for us. So let's say I wanna drag this sort of thing in here and I'll say, yeah, we'll put this, put this above the header or if I wanna just drag it down and you know move things around, I can just do that. So we can say, yeah, we'll put that in the middle. You can adjust the spacing, all that stuff. And we can actually also go and see what it looks like on mobile as well, if we want to. All we need to do is navigate up to the top right hand corner and hit mobile mode. And as we can see here, it looks a little bit different than how it does on desktop. So you're definitely gonna to want to account for that. Now, at this point, I've got my test email set up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this send test email. But if you remember, we don't actually have a recipient yet. So how do we adjust our details? Well, if we go ahead and hit this save and exit button here, it's gonna save our email template. And as we can see here, we've got our design in our email campaign. So now, great, we've got our sender, our subject, our design, and any additional settings. Now, something to remember here is that it is gonna have a watermark saying sent by Brevo if you choose to have the free plan, but for the most part, if you have a stylish email, it's not gonna take too much away from it. We also have additional settings here that you can do, such as personalized ad tracking, but those are for people who really know what they're doing with email campaigns, and we have tons of videos on the channel about that. But for this part, we're just gonna keep it simple. Now, before I go ahead and actually preview and test, let's navigate over to our contacts tab. As we can see here on the left side of the menu, we've got a bunch of different tabs that we can actually set up. This is just the campaigns. We can see here those templates. That shows you all the templates that you have to set up with your current emails. We have our statistics. Now, this is all of the data regarding our specific campaigns. This is gonna show you everything like the open rate, the click rate, unsubscribe rate. We also have a conversions tab here so we can see how many people clicked on specific links and what links they clicked on within our email just to give us some higher data analytics that really allow us to understand what exactly people are doing when they're viewing our email. And of course, we have our settings here, which is just all the default settings that you can find, all the higher level stuff, things like our test list, a default settings, unsubscribe pages, things that that are required, but aren't necessarily gonna be integral to our campaign success. But now what I'm gonna do is navigate over to one of the most important parts of Brevo, which is the contacts. Who are the people we're actually gonna be sending our emails to? Right now, it's just me. We can see if I'm subscribed on email and SMS, what I am for WhatsApp, when the last change was, when I was created or when I signed up. And what we can actually do here is filter it by our list or segment. And I can show you how to do that in just a moment. We can also add filters here, such as showing all the people who are exclusively on email, SMS, deal events, those sort of things. And if we wanna go ahead and import contacts, all we need to do is hit this import contacts button in the top right hand corner. And as we can see here, we can import it by just straight up creating and updating the contacts creating and updating companies, creating and updating deals, adding notes or comments. But if we're doing contacts and we hit continue, we have multiple options for how we can actually do that. We can import it from a file, such as an Excel file, CSV, text file. We can simply copy and paste all the emails in or import it from another tool that we already use. Breville also allows you the ability to create some custom landing pages and forms that allow people to navigate to a website and then just simply type in their email and subscribe to your email list. So that's also a cool feature that's built in right off the bat. But that being said, the landing pages part is exclusively for people who are paying, so you aren't gonna get that on the free plan. But within our contacts here, we have things like our lists, the specific types of people that we have for targeted interactions, let's say somebody who's viewed our page once and we want to send an email to them to just follow up so that they come back, et cetera, those sort of things. We also have our segments here where we can create and modify those segments. Now we also have a companies tab here. Now companies is specifically for, as you can imagine, a company. We have things like our company name, website, industry, and we can actually segment people from specific companies based on what company they're from. Now, if we wanted to create a company here, all we would have to do is enter the company name, website, industry, phone number, and any associate contacts. So anyone with a specific domain name that you wanna send targeted emails to because they're part of a specific company, well, you could do that with Brevo. In addition to that, we have our forms tab here where you can create your first subscription form as I just talked about. And we also have any settings for our contacts, things like attributes, company attributes, any web hooks, that's for developers, and any unengaged contacts. So you can see what contacts specifically 
aren't really replying or opening or converting at all on the emails that you're sending out and what specifically you could be doing better to improve your email campaigns. But as I talked about, we like things that are smart. We like campaigns that are actually doing things to consistently re-engage our users. And that's why the automations tab comes in handy so well. We have things like easy automation for effortless growth. So if we create our first automation here, we can see that we can increase our efficiency by automating our work. With this, we can of course start from scratch, automate our repetitive tasks with an automation editor, or we can use one of the many automations that they've already built for us. Things like abandon cart, send a message after a contact abandons a cart, send a message when a product is purchased on your website, send a welcome message after a subscriber joins, anniversary date, marketing activity, all of these things are specifically designed for a goal that you might have. So let's say for example that I wanna have the abandoned cart automation. We can see here that the entry point is when the user updates his or her cart and then we wait two hours before sending the abandoned cart email and the user completes the order or deletes the cart. That's the exit condition. So if we wanted to use this automation, we simply click on use this automation here and as we can see, we're gonna automatically jump in to the Brevo automation tool. So we can have a custom event. I'll just hit next here and we can automatically adjust it to our own specific needs. So let's say they abandon the cart. I think two hours is a little too creepy. Let's say six hours. We wait a good six hours before we send that email out. Hit next here and then we can choose what email template we actually want to send out or we can choose when to send the email at a specific time. Also sending a hidden copy of the email. So say you want to be informed every time somebody abandons their cart. That can also be arranged. And if you go through here, you can create a seamless automation that ensures that whoever abandons their cart gets an email from you at the respective time with exactly the customization that you want. Breville also tracks transactional things, so things like configuration. Now this is a little bit more of the higher level stuff for developers and that sort of thing if you're used to that. These are the SMTP and API notifications, but for most of you, I'm assuming you don't really know how to use that, so we're just gonna skip over that. We also have things like our statistics, templates, and settings. Again, all high level stuff. We also have in here our conversations, and these are specifically tailored towards people that are getting set up and signing in through SMS. Now, as we can see here, we have our welcome bot. We can have our chat widget, email, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, so that people can subscribe to your email service just from a chat bot, and actually subscribe and get responses from a chat bot in whatever tool that you might happen to find them on, whether it is Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp. We can also navigate to what's called our deals tab here, where we can boost our sales efficiency and grow our business, create custom pipelines, save time with automation, and never miss a follow-up. Now these deals are, as Brevo actually goes and says, it shows kind of a sales pipeline and starts to bring in a lot of other features that aren't necessarily relevant to the email marketing side of things, but are relevant to specifically, as we can see here, a CRM side of things for actually managing these relationships with your customers and ensuring that you match the deadlines accordingly. With Brevo meetings, you can actually create and schedule meetings with customers with ease, whether it's Brevo, Google Meet, Zoom, whatever, and track that data on Brevo. And as well, you can also track your calls. So if you had a specific call with a customer and you wanted to track and record what you talked about, what the conversation was, you know, how long it was, all of those things can be done by simply getting your own custom number, and obviously you'd be paying for that custom number, but actually having all of that built directly into Brevo. So it's just more of a way that Brevo acts as less so just an email marketing tool, and more so an all-in-one email marketing automation CRM. And there we go. In just a few short minutes, you've gotten comfortable using Brevo as an email marketing, automation, and CRM tool. That's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, my name is Josh Mountain, and I'll see you in the next one.